guys welcome back to auto repair guys thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel if you guys have a car that you may think you have a bad fuel injector or the fuel injector is not spraying enough fuel we'll demonstrate guys how you can test you can conduct two different tests on fuel injectors without actually removing anything out of your vehicle without removing the fuel injectors and it takes only a few minutes guys super simple now we'll need some special equipment but all that will be listed in the description of the video below for your convenience we will guys have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video and leave a comment below. So let's start on it and show you what we will be doing and what we will be using now. Now on this BMW fuel injectors are hard to remove guys. I mean it's not too bad but it takes some time. You have to disassemble that uh, cabin air filter assembly. The fuel injectors are right here. It's very long six cylinder engine so you need to remove a few things to get to them and uh, then you can individually test them but still take so much time we'll show you guys how we are going to conduct the test today and what we'll be using this is guys the scanner right here and uh, that works on any car not just BMW you have different connectors you can see for Honda, Hyundai, Mercedes, Chrysler, BMWs anything you can think of guys and let me just show you some of the makes that it supports you can do almost anything with that computer guys, it's like almost dealer level equipment, you can do programming as well. Okay, just check out some of the makes, okay it's amazing, you can even work on Lamborghini and Bugatti, Ferrari if you need to, quite a few things guys. So, what we'll be doing now, we need to get inside the vehicle, we'll conduct two tests, make sure you stand till the very end for the second test, okay because it will be very important test as well. And We'll show you guys okay what to do now so if you have a bad fuel injector usually you'll get a cold guys but if the fuel injector is cocked up it's not spraying enough fuel you will not get a cold the car may be misfiring or not running correctly because the fuel injector will not be spraying enough fuel the computer will detect it is but it's not and as a result okay you may get emission cold oxygen sensor cold but things like that are sometimes hard to diagnose so what we'll do now we'll turn Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start the car. Perfect. We'll click BMW here, guys. And we're going to select automatic selection right here. We went to our VIN number quick. Okay, and it gives us which vehicle we have. 2005 E46 BMW 330CI. It's establishing communication now. This is a wireless computer so it gives us the option to move outside of the vehicle if we need to and we will need to do that so we can show you what it will sound like when we test the injectors. Next guys, we are going to go ahead and select diagnosis, control unit, drive, engine computer right here. And once it loads we will have an option, it's called active test. That's what we will need to select right there. Active test component activation now check this thing out we'll be conducting two tests one is we'll manually deactivate the injectors and you can do each one of them it's a six cylinder engine so we have six of them and we can do a second test guys uh, I'll explain about this one in just a little bit so with the engine running now we're going to conduct the first test on this BMW guys okay so I'm going to deactivate okay deactivate one injector but it's the same procedure for all six of them and we will listen to the sound of the engine here and then the exhaust and you'll definitely be able to hear a difference now if you notice about the same difference for every fuel injector probably they're fine if you notice just barely minimal difference when you activate a certain injector let's say on cylinder number three then it means that it may not be spraying enough fuel it may be clogged up and you definitely be able to notice that now guys. So I'll go ahead and deactivate injector number one. We'll click activate deactivation. That sounds funny. Listen now. Okay, you can definitely feel the engine shaking a little bit, car shaking, misfiring because one thing there is not working. If you come to your exhaust, you will be able to notice it even more. Okay, listen now what's going to happen when I click activate.
So we can guys definitely feel how it changes. If it changes about the same, if you have about the same change for each of the injectors, then most likely they're not clogged up, they're good to go. Uh, now there is a second test that tests them that if they open and close. We're going to turn the ignition on only. Ignition on only. Engine not running. Now we're going to select here guys, okay, excuse me for the light, I'm trying my best to get a clear image here. We can test each of the injector. Let's say we click injector number one and listen what will happen when I activate the test. You will hear the clicking. And you can definitely tell that it, this injector is opening and closing. And we can do injector, let's say, number four. So definitely guys, you can conduct those tests and you can figure out if your injectors are working or not. Uh, hopefully guys, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.